Hello, Leo. Leo, welcome to your reading. You know by now that we really dive deep into these readings to give you the information that you need to know at this present moment in time. So we are going to be working with our tarot cards. We're going to be working with our oracle cards to deliver the messages that I hear. Please do remember that these readings are general. So take what is resonating with you, leave behind anything that is not for you. And if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. So Leo, let's have a look to see the energies that are currently around you, what you need to know at this present moment in time. At the bottom of the deck, you are receiving the energies of the Page of Wands. Leo, the Divine, is saying that there is an opportunity to literally enter a new timeline connected to the things that you love, connected to the things that bring you joy. It is important for you to accept and to receive the gift of the Magic Wand that you are going to be receiving. And you can start using this to create a new chapter, a new beginning, where you are going to feel like a teenager full of joy, full of energy, full of zest, full of passion. It's indeed a beautiful energy that has the potential to come into your life. So the divine is saying, if you are wanting this energy that is here, it is important for you to understand that your prayers are going to be important. Okay. Your communication with your guides and your ancestors about what it is that you want is going to be important. And then poof, you're going to find yourself on a new journey, on a new timeline, going in a new direction. And it's going to feel good. So I really love these energies that are here. It's interesting that we're speaking about a new timeline. We are speaking about a transition. And all the other cards that you have on the table, Leo, are all major arcana cards indicating that you are currently working with powerful energies. You receive the energy where it is confirming that new beginning, that zero, that portal that we spoke about. You receive the energy confirming that as the full card. And not only is that confirmation, you received one of my favorite cards when we're talking about transitioning, when we're talking about changing, when we are talking about going in a new direction. We are wanting luck to walk with us and you have another major kind of card of the wheel of fortune indicating that luck is on your side however leo i always tell you that this is this is your human experience and it is up to you how the next chapter is going to unfold i told you that the divine is giving you that magic wand so it is important for you to take that magic wand with passion, with fire, with drive, with determination and focus about the new journey that you're going to be going on. And you need to understand that there could be something that comes up that could make you feel doubtful, that can make you feel fearful about the new journey that you're going to be going on. So we are going to be speaking more on these energies. We're going to be diving deeper on these energies, especially the energies of the moon card, because this is what could come and derail everything that is wanting to blossom and bloom in your life. So Leo, let's get some Oracle cards on the table and let's see what these cards are wanting to tell you. As we get our Oracle cards, I always take this opportunity to let you know of the services that I offer. I offer spiritual cleansing services. If you feel that you've just got some funky energies around you, maybe you feel you've got bad luck. Maybe you just feel that things never unfold in the way that they should. A spiritual cleanse could be something that you need. I also do cord cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to center ceremonies. There's a lot that I do. So go in the description box below, go to my website and see all the ceremonies that are there. I also do honey jars connected to prosperity and honey jars are all about calling in the sweet things of life in life. And that's another service that is available on my website. Okay. The cards don't want to come out. So let's have a look to see what is going on and let's have a look to see how these energies are going to be unfolding for you. So we spoke about fear, which is what could come in and disrupt this beautiful journey that you're going to be going on, Leo. So Leo, this energy of fear is connected to other people. The divine is saying, be careful who you are telling 
your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals for the new year. Because understand that not everyone is happy for you. Leo, this is really important for you to really grasp the message that is here. Because the divine is saying that as you are starting to tell people about the new journey that you're wanting to go on, about the new business, about this and about that, you really have this energy of excitement. You really have this fiery energy around you. And then someone is going to come and piss all over your dreams. They're going to be telling you, well, you know, do you think with the current situation that is going on in the world, that's a good time to do this or to do that? Do you think? And suddenly the passion the fire that you had just a moment ago will start dying down. And instead, what replaces that passion and that fire is confusion, is fear. And so the divine is saying to you, make a resolution to not tell people about your dreams and about your hopes and your goals, to move in silence. Because it is important to understand that some people will start revealing their true colors as you are becoming successful. You're going to be seeing the jealousy. You're going to be encountering the monitoring spirits. These are the people who monitor you. These are the people who are always nosy on social media, wanting to see what it is that you're doing. But they don't bring an energy of upliftment. Rather, they bring an energy of jealousy. And remember, I was telling you that I do cord cutting ceremonies, I do banishing ceremonies, and this is why people come to me, because they see that things are starting to shift and go in a really beautiful direction, and then suddenly, boom, challenge after challenge after challenge comes in. And so we do that spiritual cleanse, we do that return to sender as a way to return negative energies, evil eyes, ill intentions back to their original sender. So the divine is saying to you, you're going to be seeing that as you are winning, some people will not be clapping, Leo. And it is important for you to take note of who doesn't clap when you are winning. It is imperative to start believing people when they show you their true colors. It doesn't matter whether this is a sibling, whether this is a parent, jealousy can come from any form. This could be a friend, this could be a co-worker, and the divine is saying, be careful and watch out for that green-eyed monster. Because again, you have exciting new chapters that are wanting to come into your life. You've got new beginnings that are wanting to unfold in your life, and you have Lady Luck that is walking with you and journeying with you as you're going in a new direction. So Leo, can you see what the divine is saying to you? Be mindful and protect your dreams and be careful about who you are telling when you're winning. Sometimes it is not necessary to be telling people of the new contract that you got, about the success that your business is receiving. Sometimes it is just better to remain silent, okay? But Lady Luck is saying to you that the winds of change are starting to blow and there's going to be a new chapter that is unfolding for you and the full card is emphasizing that message and telling you that now is the time to take that leap of faith because Lady Luck is walking with you and you can see that our wheel of fortune, our person is the dice. So roll the dice, take a chance, do something new, do something that brings in the opportunities that are wanting to flow into your life. There's so many golden opportunities that are wanting to come in and it is important for you to focus your energies and remaining silent and quiet and not sharing your dreams with other people and really making sure that you're bringing protection to your dreams and what it is that you're creating. Okay, so the divine is saying to you, <clears throat> as you're going in a new direction, please do create a self-care routine so that you don't get bent out. It is going to be important for you also to take care of your mental health. Because you could be seeing that when you start winning, the heat will be on you. People will start saying, oh, you've changed. Oh, this or oh, that. That's jealousy talking. Of course you've changed. We are meant to change. We're never meant to stay the same. So there just could be some little sly comments, some little digs that come from people. And remember what I told you, the divine told you to pay attention to the people when they are revealing themselves for who they are, when they're showing themselves for who 
they truly are. Those green-eyed monsters, when they arrive, be scented, be prepared, and be in the energy and the element of loving yourself and understanding that it is important to set your goals, to keep yourself focused, and to keep some people's energy at a distance. Okay, so this is the energies that are here. Okay, if you need your own personal reading done, website is in the description box below. And Leo, remember, you've got a new channel that I'm creating just for you, where we are going to be transitioning over to that new channel very soon. I'm going to link the channel in the description box below. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And in the comment section below, I want you to comment the emoji of the dice, the red dice. And I want to see how many people watch this reading all the way to this point. And also how many people are claiming that they are going to be taking that leap of faith. They are going to be rolling the dice and allowing 2024 to be a magical year. So Leo, it is a goodbye from me.